guys, look at my new setup. So I have a new backdrop. Of course, it's just a white sheet. And I got fabric to go on top of it. And I also got two lights so that I feel like, you know, really cool trying to film. So I'm really excited to use this stuff. Uh, it's kind of going to, hopefully, it's going to make my videos look a little bit better than you seeing the background in the room that I normally film in that usually contains Xbox and every other gaming system and a TV. So I'm really excited to use all this stuff and try out my new background. And I hope you guys like the backgrounds that I choose and you think that my videos just look a lot better. Because I am loving this shimmer. I actually got, it's actually just a piece of material. And I got it from Joanne. So it's like two yards and it has like little clips on top. And I can just make it as long as I want and as short as I want. So I'm really excited and it's I'm really excited for how it's going to make all my videos look. So welcome back to my channel. I'm so glad you guys are here watching. Um, so excited to get started on this. This is the first for me. I ordered um, a couple of different colored eyeliners and I'm stepping out of my shell because I feel like most of the time I'm always using like neutral colors and I mean I experiment here and there with eyeshadows but nothing that really takes me over the top and makes me step out of my comfort zone. So this is a look that I can't lie, I started freaking out when I thought about it and I'm so glad I did because I actually love it and this might actually become a part of my everyday look. Oh, and just a little side note, if you hear something running in the background, that's the air unit. Uh, living in Louisiana, it is very, very, very hot. And so even trying to be up here and filming, I'm like drenched in sweat if I don't have this air unit on. So just bear with me. Uh, I hope that you all can hear me pretty clear. If not, just plug in some headphones. It definitely helps. But it's just really, really hot, and I can't help it. So, sorry. So, I hope you guys enjoy. If you want to know how to achieve the look, just keep on watching. Mwah! Love you guys. Alright, so first, I'm starting off with the NYX eyeshadow base. And I'm just going to coat that all over my eyes. Now I'm taking NYX's HD Studio uh, Photogenic Finishing Powder, and I'll be using the Morphe 438. And we're going to set that on. So since we're trying to keep it, you know, the eye very simple, and we're going to do like that bold electric eyeliner, uh, we're going to keep it like toned down just a little bit but enough to where it gives our eyes some pop so I'm going to do more of like a brownish kind of eye keeping on the light side rather than dark so that the eyeliner really stands out so I'm going in with Peach Smoothie this is from Makeup Geek and I'm using the Morphe M441 and that's going to go in our crease. So taking that same brush, I'm going to go in with Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is the color Fawn. And we're just going to hit that in our crease as well. Alright, so next I'm taking this flat brush, and as I've said in my other videos, it's actually from one of Morphe's, you know, sets that you can get for, you know, a really decent price, and you get a very big variety. I'm taking Makeup Geek Rapunzel, 
and we're just going to pack that on our lid. So before we do the eyeliner, I like to do my face before I hit my eyeliner because sometimes I feel like when I apply my foundation, it can take away from the eyeliner and it messes it up and then you need to do it all over again. So next, I'm going to prime my face with NYX's Angel Veil. So I'm just going to apply it with my fingers and I'm doing it all over. And now because I have four out of this world, I'm going to go in with the mixed pore filler. And I'm just going to put in my problem areas, which uh, mostly is around my cheeks and my nose. And I just pat it in. So next, I'm taking the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless, and this is in the shade 112. And I'm going to be applying it with the Morphe M439. Next, we're going in with the NYX Sculpt and Highlight Face Duo. And this is in the shade Taupe and Ivory. And now I'm taking my Vamp Beauty Blender and we're gonna blend it all out. with the same brush that we use to set our eye and the finishing powder, we're going to set our face. Alright, 
So next we're just kind of going to start from the top and work our way down. So next is the brows. So I am using the Benefit Cosmetics Goop Proof Brow Pencil. There you go. And as you can see, one side has the brow pencil and then one side has a little spoolie on it. And this is in the shade 6. So it's pretty dark. So I'm just going to line our eyes and then we're going to go ahead and we're going to fill it in with the NYX Brow Mascara. brows, we're going to go and we're going to start our electric eyeliner. So I will be using the NYX gel liner. And this is in the color teal. So it looks like this. And I will also be using NYX's Studio Liquid Liner. And it's in gold. I don't know if it has a name for it. Oh, extreme gold on my bag. So I'm going to be taking this angled brush to do our eyeliner. And this, again, uh, more of you probably sell this individually, but when I started out, I got the kit and this came with it. Alright, so now I'm taking my Morphe E18 and I'm going to go in with MAC Saddle. And I'm just going to smoke out the bottom lash line. Then I'm going to pick up Two Faces Better Than Sex Mascara. And I'm just going to coat my lashes before we apply our falsies. Now, I'm going to be applying uh, Ardell lashes, and this is the Double Wispy. And I'm using the Duo Gel. Alright, so next. I'm going to use the Becca Cosmetics and Jaclyn Hill Champagne Collection Face Palette. And I'm going to mix Rose Spritz and Amaretto. I'll be applying it with my Morphe E4. So for highlight, I'm going to use the new Cover FX uh, Custom Enhancer Drops, and this is in the color Celestial, so it comes in a little tube like this. I 
just apply a little bit on my hand. And I'm just going to pat it onto my cheek. Now, I feel like this does give me like more of like that dewy glow, but this is honestly the only thing that will actually show up when I do a highlight. Now, I'm hoping to get the Jeffree Star Ice Cold, and that is very light, so I'm hoping that that will actually show up on me. Not that all these colors aren't beautiful, but with my fair skin, a lot of it does not show up. And it's very hard to find something that does. Next, I'm going in with the Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette. And I will be using the color Subconscious. And I'm taking my Morphe M523 brush. And I'm putting the product on both sides. That way, when I do contour, it distributes it evenly. For the lips, I'm going to be using Dose of Colors Desert Suede. Alright guys, so this is the final product. I hope you guys enjoy. Um, please remember to subscribe, like, and share my videos. And I will see you guys next week. Bye. Can we just take a second to like do this highlight? Oh, it's so good.